The highest manifestation of God's power is his word. His word. You want to be a carrier of his presence, a carrier of his power. The activator for that power is his word. I tell people the first place to establish the voice of God must be in scriptures. If you are able to establish the voice of God in scriptures, you are fortunate, you are privileged. It means that in this generation, you will not fall prey of deception. The next place, it is by the, by the scriptures that you are able to discern the voice that comes to you. There are operations of the spirit that are bespoke. They are tailor-made. But there are very fundamental speakings of God that we must find our bearing, our compass from scripture. You know the days where, where people spend hours to say that, Lord, I want to be your vessel. Those days are almost burning out. We are, and now you now even have that thing. What is it called again? Is it uh, chat GPT? All those. Uh, eh? We have chat GPT. What again? Uh, the one that they added to WhatsApp, what is his name? Uh, 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 that thing that you can ask questions, it will give you everything. You can now say, hey, hey, Chad GPT, give me a lesson on sanctification. Brrr, it's out. Making, the whole goal is to raise a wasted generation that has no depth, no roots. And so we must be men and women that carries his power. Altars are not that powerful. They are, but they are not that powerful. Altars can be broken and destroyed. You can, you can, you can decide to be the bridge for your family and say that no more. This thing will no longer, it ends with me. When I, when I started following my, the patterns of my family, I noticed that most of them didn't go to school. They were dropouts. My father was a dropout after he played a match at the age of 21 that he never told anybody. You know how I knew? I was in the place of prayer when the Holy Ghost told me, your dad played this kind of match. And if you don't rise up now, that thing will come on your life. That's how, that was how Jesus delivered me. I noticed that everybody had premarital sex and had children. I didn't say I will not do it. And I kept quiet. I went back to the quarry site. And I said, Lord, give me grace. I want to do it properly. And I know it's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Because I was already on that track. Sexually abused at the age of seven. Sexually active from seven to 19. I met with the Lord at the age of 19. So I was on that track already. But when I came into the Lord and I began to study the patterns, I can tell you that pattern stopped with the first four. The next four all married well. Because a pattern can be broken. And what breaks pattern is power. Let me tell your neighbor what breaks pattern is power. It happens to be that you are an African the last time I checked. If you are an African, there are patterns that must be destroyed and what destroys it is the power of God. So as you flow with the Almighty, this man Simeon said to them, Give me this power. I remember many years ago, many years ago, my dad of blessed memory, I was on campus, I think in two, three hundred level, when they called me that my dad couldn't speak again, he was on the bed. 
at the verge of death. I was going to be preaching the next day. So I told my friend that I'm supposed to preach for on campus. I said, I am sorry, I will not be able to preach for you. They just called me that my dad is sick and he can't talk. He's been on the bed like this. While I told him and I left his room, the Holy Ghost said to me, let the dead bury their dead. I said, uh-uh. I knew the communication was, go and do the conference before you travel. Let the dead bury their dead. So I said, will my dad die? The instruction was, suspend what you are doing and go back. So I called my friend and I said, I'll preach for you. Then the next day I'll travel. I obeyed the Lord. I ministered and I went back. Packed my things early morning. Left Ekiti State for Sokoto. The moment I got in, my mom said, you are here. I said, yes. And I went straight to the bedroom. The moment I went to the bedroom, the man was lying up like this when I opened the door. This is somebody that has not spoken for some time. He looked at me and said, Okyotodoro, Wariri. That's Urobo. He said, he called my name and said, have you arrived? I said, they say you can't talk. He said, I'm surprised too. So, me, I've experienced family power. The first ministry in my life that grew leg out was my younger brother. The younger, the guy that gave me apostles' messages, he had a short leg. We were praying when the Lord said, pull his leg out. I said, not me. If he doesn't walk, there will be no honor in this house again forever. We were having devotion. The Holy Ghost said, pull it out. I said, Lord, hey, I don't have this faith. He said, if you don't pull this thing out, I will take my power from you. I said, Melody, sit down. The Lord said, I should pull your leg out. And I held it. I said, in the name of Jesus. If you see him, ask him. I said, in the name of Jesus, leg, come out. So I, I did like this. And the leg followed me. I said, ah, ah. this thing is real, oh. I have seen legs grow, not one, not two, not three. But I, I actually don't. Me I, me, I see this as common things in the life of a believer. Are you with me? It's only when I want to ask you to come into them. My brothers are here, the pastors in Lagos, they can tell you. I don't talk about those things. We just do them and say, all right, this thing don't happen. We don't move. Because for me, I see them as common things. In the life of a Christian, these signs shall follow them that believe, not apostles. They are common. Somebody say common. Sincerely, that's the understanding I have about it. Not to, not to, not to, not to look down on any office, but that is how I see it. That these signs are common signs that will follow us. But when we give ourselves to the operation, it comes into intensity. You begin to graduate. You begin to graduate. For example, our father will say, put your index finger there. But because I am his son, I don't tell people, put your index finger. Do you know why? Grace in the next generation is higher. In every generation, grace must be heightened. So when my father does it, I'll say, Lord, okay, as his son, I lay claim on this inheritance and I go with it. So I say, if you are here, you cannot hear. Your ears are open. Try it and see. You know, when Adam sinned, he hid himself when he heard the voice of God. When his son sinned, he said, am I my brother's keeper? Heightened operation of sin. Because from generation to generation, sin is heightened. Grace is heightened the more. For I say to you, where sin abides, dear, what? Much grace abounds. So when I'm looking at my spiritual father, when he's flowing in power, my own desire is, ah, not because I want to best him, not because I'm competing, but my own desire is, oh boy, wait till they see so. A new dimension don't enter. Autisms have been healed. Aye! So when I go out, I don't wait for word of knowledge to call it. I say, if you are autistic here, because it is a grace that is already flowing in the family, so I take advantage of it. Is somebody with me tonight? The grace is already in the house. It has rested. If you use it, it will function. 
Is there an autistic patient here? They say, hey, my son. I said, don't worry, your son is healed. Is it crippled? There's crippled here. The crippled will rise. Is it deafness? Oh no, that's a common place for us. Even our children now can, should be able to heal deaf ears. Esther, Joshua, the prophets from Reverend Dan, from Uncle Tony, from they should be able to say, where are you? Be healed and God will honor it because that grace is resting. Should I teach you one thing I want you to do before I, I minister? I just said something. I said there is the grace that is resting in the house. How many of you are part of this house? How many of you are part of this house? Okay. Raise your hands now. How many of you can boldly say you are flowing in the grace in this house? If you can boldly say, drop your hand. And I mean all of the grace, so not, not, you are, you are, you are. So you are telling me that you have been able to cure insanity. You, are, you have gone out to the anointing to do some things. Have you moved out like Papa will do when you get to Cameroon? Some years ago, myself and Apostle traveled. Apostle was sleeping. And the demons didn't allow me to sleep. That was when I knew that I was in a place rigged by power. Apostle slept well. I was saying, no, myself, apostle, and one prophet. I was calling, the, because the prophet slept in the same room with me. I was calling him, I am dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. The guy was snoring. So the moment I was able to shout, Jesus, somewhere in Kogi State, In the land of the Igalas. I had to turn that night to prayer vigil. I prayed all through the night. But a season also came in my life, Reverend Dan. When they wanted to come, I said, if you come close, you will be destroyed. They didn't come, they went back. A season also came, when they came, they touched me, I woke up, I said, ah, now you did there. Watch me I'm going into my blanket. And I, I rode my blanket. I said, if you touch me, you are here now, no problem. But if you touch me, and I roll back my blanket. So you see, there are intensities. There are intensities. There was a time I went to preach and I said, the prince here, you are cursed. And they held me by my neck, midnight. It was when I saw Apostle speak to God delivered me. But now, anywhere I go, I'm not afraid anymore. Somebody say Intensity. I have, I have grown because you can grow in this thing. So we want to lay claim. Me, I follow Apostle in the law. I study him. So because he's my father, so I follow. I, I, I see, I told you in the morning, I watch his body language. I see that once I see the new, the new oil, I chase it. I say, Lord, this thing has been, it's now part of us. So I come into it. Because what my father has is an inheritance for all of us. So you want to pray now. You remember how you said it now in Ghana? That when he was ministering, where was he ministering again? In Volta region. The power you see this man flowing, that was the day he lay, lay, lay hold on it. In, not in Nigeria, in Volta region. Eli, Elijah said to Elisha, when you see me when I'm taken, then you have it. So I keep watching. Anytime he's taking, I just latch on it. I say, Father, we come into this anointing. So tonight, you want to lay hold on it. The ones you know that are manifesting in this house, on the life of the... You know he said how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. It's like the oil that flows from where? The head to where? So is that oil flows. So it can flow down to membership. Are you, are you getting me? Where, where did the woman touched? The woman that was healed, where did she touch? 
the hem of his garment. Because that is where God commanded the blessing. So it's a good place. There are spiritual people that know what I'm talking about. And you can do accurate business and you can come into that economy. I just want to push you into that economy and bring a short word for us, for us tonight. Tomorrow will be a prophetic meeting. All right, but, but, but we want to lay hold. We want to lay hold. That Lord, there are certain graces in this house that tonight I lay hold of it. You can sit down if you are tired of standing and pray that prayer. If you, whatever posture you want to take, that tonight I lay hold of that thing. Maybe it's the grace to teach utterance. What I'm telling you, take it serious. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. What I'm sharing with you right now, that grace. available in this house you just take it there is this line of grace that I see father I take it I take it oh Jesus Jalebron does I lay hold on the mantle tonight I lay hold of that mantle from tonight. Woo. I lay hold of that mantle tonight. I lay hold of it. I lay hold of it. Walking in the miraculous, I lay hold of it. Walking in the miraculous, I lay hold on it. The teaching anointing, I lay hold of it. God's favor on the work, I lay hold on it. The spirit of establishment, I lay hold on it. The spirit that announces man upon the life of that servant, we lay hold on it. Come on, somebody pray. Lay hold, lay hold. Lay hold. Lay hold. Lay hold. Expansion and establishment. Lay hold. Lay hold on it. The miraculous. Lay hold on the miraculous. Some of you that are desirous of the teaching anointing, lay hold now, lay hold of it. Lay hold of it. Lay hold of that anointing. Jesus mighty name we pray you know when
John the Baptist was born, they said he will go in the spirit and in the power of what? Of course, Papa has taught us that. He demonstrated spirit capacity. But he didn't demonstrate power. Right? And then Papa taught us how to probe spiritual activities and probe power activities. I want, I want us to pray. There's one grace upon our father's life. I know in this season there's, there's a serious outbreak of the miraculous. But beyond that is a wise man. If you carry power, you must have wisdom of the spirit. I've seen how he applies wisdom to solve very difficult puzzles. So in this season, listen, I'm very intentional what I'm doing this evening because the Holy Spirit spoke to me before I came. He said, whatever you do tonight, will be established. So you are coming into the season of establishment. It said from Dan even unto where? It is now known that Samuel has been what? Established a prophet. And then we're talking about Sam, um, David. He said, and David knew that the Lord has established his kingdom for the sake of his people. So, the oil of establishment is dropping on you now. Yeah. I cannot hear your amen. Yeah. The Lord will bring you into the second phase of your walk with him here on earth. Yeah. And that second phase will be the phase of establishment. Yeah. The Holy Spirit will establish you. Everything that you have cried for today is hereby established in your life. There is the rise of the miraculous in our midst. You will experience it. Oh no, you will experience it. Oh no, you will experience it. You will experience it. You will experience it. Hold that guy. You will experience it. You will experience it. Amen. You will experience it. Amen. There will be a release of the supernatural on you and through you. Amen. The Lord will demonstrate the operation of his spirit. Amen. Look, there are some of you, God will turn you into men with mighty words. Amen. Men of mighty words. Amen. Some of you listening to me today, as you sit down to open the scriptures, the scriptures will begin to jump at you. Amen. Oh my God, you will receive the communication of the Spirit. Amen. You will receive the communication of the Spirit. Amen. You see, there is a young lady, oh my God, all of you can stand up now. There is a young lady here, a time portal of the Spirit is about to open. The way you will know you are the one is not tonight. You will know in the next couple of days because a time portal has just been opened over you. Holy Spirit, who is this person? Raise your hands up. There is a time portal that has opened and that time portal is to bring you into divine revelation. Into divine revelation. I don't know who this person is, Holy Spirit. Please, please show me this lady. You said there is a young lady here. You want to open a time season with her. You want to open a calendar. Just bring her forward for me. You want to open a calendar, a calendar, a calendar, a calendar, a calendar, a calendar. There is a calendar that the Lord is opening. He's having a date with you. And once you study that time, he will be coming in. Bring that person, bring the lady for me. Just bring them, bring them. A time portal. I see a time portal. That the Holy Ghost will just come. He will walk in. He will walk in. He will walk in. He will walk in. 
He will walk in. He will walk in. He will walk in. The Holy Ghost will walk in. He will walk in. Jesus, he will walk in. He will walk in. He will walk in. He will walk in. Can you place your hands in front of you? Not high this time, but in front of you. There is a woman here that is believing God for a child. These hands like this is for the Moses that is coming. I see the Lord giving you a son and his name will be called Moses. There is this woman here. The Lord is using you to bet something. I don't know what it is in this season, but you are going to bet something. You will bet something. You will bet something, woman. You will bet something. You will bet something. It's the season of betting. It does, I'm not talking about a child, but you will bet something. For the Holy Ghost will come upon you, and you will bet something. There's a reality that will come out of you. There's a reality that will come out of you. You will bet something. The Holy Ghost is betting through you. You will bet something. Oh, Jesus. It's a season of establishment. Holy Ghost. Come on, stretch those hands. Father, you came with gifts tonight. And you said you want to establish men. Once they have been empowered by the Holy Ghost. The ones you have opened time portal for is because you want to bring them into deeper intimacy. There is a brother there also. God is bringing you into this. There's a time portal that will open over you, brother. This brother that I speak of, you are somewhere in the city of Kaduna, but you are here. The Holy Spirit is opening a portal, and that portal is a teaching, a teaching season that the Holy Spirit will sit down with you and he will teach you the Bible. He will teach you the Bible. You are from Kaduna and you are here. You are from Kaduna. He will teach you the Bible. Wherever you are, he's going to touch you. He will touch you. And while I was ministering, I wanted to keep this for tomorrow, but the Holy Spirit said, do it today. I saw precious gifts and garments that were given to men. Jesus. I saw precious gifts and garments that were given to men. Lady, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Let structures around you change. 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 From today, I declare a new season over you. Oh my God. I declare a new season over you. I declare a new season over you. A new season opens to you from this day forward in the name of Jesus. There is, there is somebody here that has a liver issue. Liver. Weak liver. The liver is weak. But in the name of Jesus Christ, after today, the orientation of your liver, the orientation, that's the word I'm hearing, the orientation of that liver changes from today. Amen. The orientation of that liver changes from today. Uh, uh, it changes from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Holy Spirit, please, drop the gifts. Drop the gifts. Holy Ghost. The goal is not for you to fall. The goal is for you to receive. And for you to receive, you need to be very sensitive. If you are praying, stop. If you are holding hands, cut your hands. Just open your hands is the instruction. Holy Spirit. You alone knows what you want to deposit here. Including myself, I stretch my hands, oh God, I open them.
find us worthy. Drop your gifts. The things you came with. The consignment you projected for this meeting and budgeted for. I stand on this exalted altar and will say, let it come now. Holy Spirit, we give you the right of way. Now, Holy Ghost, Once I say receive it, you say amen and you keep quiet. Your amen means I agree and so shall it be. Now, receive it. Amen. Oh Lord, we agree with you. Let your fire come. Now it is yours. It is yours. From the left to the right, front and back. There are two brothers in front. Exactly where I'm standing, the, the first and the second row, there are two guys there, my eyes shut, I saw the Lord drop bottles of oil on those two brothers' hands. Literally, I can open my eyes and walk to you. Where I'm standing here. Reverend Tony, I see the Lord activating some angels around you. And I hear God says there will be a higher form of operation in power. In fact, he said I should tell you utterance will match demonstration will match utterance. Demonstration we match utterance. You say, watch out for in the coming seasons. Demonstration. We match utterance. I see a department that has been opened for your wife to enter also. Because I see her feet deep, dogged in blood. And I said, Lord, what is this? He said, I am washing her feet. By the blood of the Lord. And I am bringing her into a layer of authority. So what your wife will begin to notice is there will be hunger. There will be hunger for more. The sign language for what I'm speaking about is hunger for more. And as that hunger opens, she will enter. Those two brothers I spoke of, if the anointing of the Lord hits them, bring them forward for me. Bring them forward. The Holy Ghost is still distributing his gifts. If this is all I will do tonight, it's fine. But the Holy Ghost is distributing his gifts. There are two of them, yes. Just place them there. The Holy Ghost, if there's that, that brother I mentioned from Kaduna, if you are here, please, I want you to come forward from Kaduna. I, I didn't mean you traveled all the way from Kaduna to do this meeting. Maybe you are here, but you are from Kaduna State. If you are that person, just come forward. Stand, stay here. From KD. All right. Stay there. Thank you. There is a young lady online that is watching us. As I started speaking now, you are shaking all over yourself by yourself right now. You are not sick. You are fine. That's just the Holy Spirit making deposits in your life. 
is making deposit. He's making some strong deposit. Very strong deposit. Among these brothers, there is the one that you want to take and give him that grace. Raise your hands. Lord, I don't know who this person is among them. And if it's all of them, this one you will confirm by burning. This person will, will the burnings of God will be activated instantly. Burnings, burnings, burnings. The burnings of God. The burnings of God. That, that brother on black, on glasses, I see an anointing on you. But this anointing is not an assignment. It's an anointing that came upon you and you escaped a tragedy. In the coming days, you will understand what I'm talking about. The, the grace that is coming on you now is that which will cause you to escape. You will testify here. You will escape something. The intent of Satan around you has just been distorted. The Lord just intervened. And you are going to escape forever. In the precious name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, touch these brothers. Let your grace purge. And set them on the tangent of another journey. And now Holy Ghost. Touch your people. Touch your people, Spirit of God. Touch. Don't just leave them. That's the Holy Ghost doing his work there. Touch your people. Men and women. Boys and girls. That will be the carrier of this fire for the next revival. The next revival will be ushered by younger, younger people. Younger people, younger people. Younger people. And every one of you that have lot in that revival for the next seven years, you will carry it now. You will carry it now. Jesus Christ, help me. Oh. You will carry it now. Concentrate. Just concentrate. 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 I don't know if we have more than one Michael in the hall. If it's only one, then I will say you are the one. But there is a Michael that the Holy Ghost is releasing an anointing for revival on. There is a Michael. Then if it's you alone, then I will say you are the one. Okay? Okay, there's another Michael. Ah, uh -uh, Unasuna plenty. There, are, there is a Michael. There is a Michael. Okay. All right. So now it has to do with if you can see me when I'm taking, you receive it. You are Michael too. Uh, no, I, I, you, you, okay. Stay where you are, you will receive it. All right? Stay where you are. But, but there is a Michael that has a pact with the coming revival. There is a Michael. There is a Michael. Reverend Tony, I see, I see a very strong aperture of the prophetic. You will be kicked into it. You see, the first word is, you are coming into the place where demonstration will meet up with utterance. The words that you speak, they will be backed up with demonstration. But you see, one of the things I saw in the spirit, let me tell you. I saw that you were teaching and somebody had paws. You know paws? All over his chest. In fact, it's a lady that I saw. As you kept teaching, because the flow of the manifestation of the supernatural in your ministry may not be what you have experienced and seen. As you were teaching, I saw the pulse drying up. I saw it drying up. So that was why the Holy Spirit said to me, tell him that demonstration will match utterance. Because your own demonstration is through as you teach the medium. Then those things... As I, I just saw the thing was like as if I'm watching a movie. It was just drying up and drying up and drying up and drying up and drying up. But let me give you the strongest word. It said, tell him business has not closed. That he will still do business. It said, tell him and the wife that business has not closed. I don't know when, and I'm not saying you, should, you are not the pastor here. Oh God, have mercy. I, I, I hope I will not come on that trouble with this. But he said, business hasn't closed. I will plunge you into it. 
I know you have labored. I know you have worked. I know you have been faithful. I will give you a garden. I don't know what the garden is, but I will give you a garden. I will give you a garden. So, as you are standing here tonight, the wind that has blown here is the wind of men and women that are going to be emissaries of the coming revival. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming into it now. You are coming into it. Oh my God. And TST. I saw a conspiracy around your sister. And I heard the Lord say, stand for her. Intercede on her behalf in this season. If you call her, she will tell you she's at a critical place right now. Even though she has not told anybody yet. He said, but stand in the gap and stand fast. You see, that your writing ministry, take it seriously. Your strength and the depth of the assignment in the coming days. You will write now, you will walk and you will write. My strength will come on your materials. I will use them to rescue a generation. There is the hand of my favor that is on you in this season at the marketplace. I will give you renewed vigor. I will give you strength. For my hand is on you. Fear not. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. I can see in the spirit that you gave your back to many. But they wept you and left scars there. And Jesus said, the scars today will begin to speak on your behalf. There is a mighty deluge of his anointing on your writing that is bringing. There will be an un unleashing, an unusual entrance into the world. An unusual entrance. There will be a usual visitation. Just the way he said to Paul, to John, rise and write. You are about to experience those kinds of season at work and at home. In fact, these are the days where you can't afford to drive. You will be driven because something that the Lord wants to achieve is by the corner. And even as I speak, I see a, a mighty real estate that the Lord gave you. You, 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 your husband, a mighty real estate that you bought for almost nothing. It was, it, when people see, they will say it was underpriced because you are not going to have it for the amount. You are going to have it three times below the amount. And the Lord said, he's giving you that as a gift. When that door opened, you will not go about looking for it. Write what I'm saying down. You will not go about looking for it. It will meet you here in Makodi. And the facility I'm talking about is not in this state. You will be driven to the place, you and your husband. And they will give it to you as a, almost a gift. The reason why they will ask is, we want you to do this for us. It is a season of reward for your faithfulness, says the Lord. He said, for the faithful man shall abound in blessing. It is the season for me to come and bless you, says the Lord. He said, be strong, be strengthened, be strengthened. Wait on, wait on behalf of your sister. Chief Don, where's your wife? Mama, where are you? I see a shift around you. I see the Holy Ghost. You see? That's your certificate. The Lord is about to call on it. I see, I see you as a medical mission, says the Lord. I'm about to take you and to showcase you. This season for you is a season of building capacity. But you will minister for me as a spiritual doctor. 
You will pray over cases and those cases will be healed. You will see what diagnosis cannot pick. You will pick it. What your scientific mind cannot explain. I will invade you and you will explain them. I will use you mightily. You are not just a physical life doctor. You are carrying that flow in the spirit. Your hands are not just for telescope. Your hands will be used. Where your syringe cannot work, your utterance will work, says the Lord. It will work. It's a new season. Every form of heaviness, I decree, let it be lifted. And let your voice be wild in the spirit. Have power on the altar. You will see what I'm saying in the, in, the, in the next two days. I have power on the altar. No more heaviness. No more. No more. No more. No more. Is, 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 wait. Did you lost your dad? You are very close to your dad. You are very close to your dad. Okay. That heaviness is still in your soul. Am I correct? That heaviness is still locked there. And the Holy Ghost wants it to live. That's what I just saw. When I was talking heaviness, I was also surprised. So I kept probing. He said, you lost somebody. You are very close to him. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. This heaviness is there. And the Holy Ghost is saying, release him for me. He's with me already. Release him. I want to walk with you. You see, you're already crying. Release him. Release him. Release him. Now Moses, my servant, is dead. Oh, Joshua, rise up, take these people and go, this, go over this Jordan. You have mourned enough. Now it's time to rise. It's time. There is a pain in your soul and the Holy Ghost wants it dead. Not because you don't love him, but you see, it's hampering the next season of your life. That, that thing is hampering the flow of divine inspiration and power. So God is saying, release him. I want to use you. Release him. 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 Release that grief from your soul so that Satan will not take advantage of it. Kai, don't put the camera on her, please. So that Satan will not take advantage of it. Release yourself from this body. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. There are people here that I see, I see books in the spirit. And every time I see books, I know it's a season of reward. I know it's a season of reward. I know it's the season of reward. Receive grace, brother. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. I know it's a season of reward. Receive grace. Receive grace. If you are a lady here and you studied microbiology, please come. That's the way God said I will locate this person I want to pray for. You, you are a lady, you studied microbiology. Come. He studied microbiology. Grace. Grace to you. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost where you are? Underneath your breath. Just, just pray. I think Reverend Tony, Reverend Tony's teaching is what just steered the water. The person I'm talking about, you studied microbiology and you got three denials from job interview. Three. Please, if you are the one, walk forward because I want to break an altar. You got three denials from, a, from job interview. Three times you were denied. This thing is very simple. It's direct English I spoke. I didn't speak grammar. You got denied. 
three times on three different occasions. That interview didn't pull through. That's the only way I can know this person and I want to break an altar. There's something the Holy Ghost is asking me to break. So if the person is not here, our online admin can help me check if I have that person online. Anybody like that online? Is it you? Your, your elder sister. Okay, so how did you know? You are in communication with her. A microbiologist. Huh? Okay. Is she a single? Yes. Go this way. She should be about 30 something. Huh? She's 31. Go this way. Church, can we? I'm coming to you guys. Can we stretch our hands and ask that whatever is holding the marital destiny in this family, let it be broken? That was a very specific word that I can't read. The reason is there is a marital. So we are asked, when you go, you tell her that the Lord said no more delays in that area. By this time next year, she will be married. Tell her that you met with Brother Austin in RCN. And he said to tell her, huh? she stays in Lagos. Wherever she stays, there's no distance. That does not mean you should tell her to come and see me. It is here that we are doing the work. So that thus says the Lord, by this time next year, she will be married. And God will give her a very good job appointment in the next three months. God will give her a, a better appointment. This jinx is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We will hear the sound of rejoicing because God is taking her into another lane. And it's the lane of supernatural intervention and supernatural favor. She will walk where she desired and she will be settled in the name of Jesus Christ. I use that as an extension to her that the Holy Spirit will confirm his word in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. So, sorry, oh, my own style, I don't like when I'm praying for cases you put it online. There are people who lose marriage because of that thing. It's not all cases that should be public. That is my own session. That's how I want it. Grace. 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 Carry his mercy. Go with his healing. Hey. I cause every internal ailment. Go! In the name of Jesus. Be gone. Be gone. You are here because of an internal case. And I address it now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Carry his grace and his presence. Carry his grace and his presence. Carry God's grace and favor. Grace and favor. Grace and favor. Grace. Mercy and favor. Grace. 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 Grace to you, sister. Grace. Grace to you in the name of Jesus. Grace. Grace in the name of Jesus. I ask that as you all go back home tonight to rest, may the Holy Ghost, somebody say the Holy Ghost. Hush. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. Yes. 
you will experience his interventions in this season. The, 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 I just saw a medical doctor in the spirit now. There's somebody here who has a relative that is a medical doctor and he has not been able to amount to anything as a doctor. You are not the one, but it's your relative. Please, can you come? You can sit down. I'll soon hand over the mic. Is a relative of yours. Is a doctor. He has not been able to amount to anything. Oh, uh, is your relative now? That's the way the Holy Ghost showed me. He said he's your relative. So I will not say what you said. Oh, I should say it. Okay. Woman, are you coming out? Huh? Eh? Uh -huh. God know they miss when they give word. Though. You know they miss. He go describe the thing where a relative. So that's the wife, and that is the younger sister. So that's how we pick those cases. Praise the Lord. And let me let me quickly teach you. You know when Papa is doing these things, he does practical. So let me do my own. Let me give you my practical. Whenever you give word of knowledge and people don't come, don't be discouraged. Let me tell you, neighbor, don't be discouraged. It doesn't mean you are not accurate. There are three things that will happen. Number one, the person will meet you behind the scene and say, man of God, I am the one you spoke about. Number two, the person will say, I went to the toilet when you were saying it. Number three, the person will say, I was in the church, but I was sleeping. So somebody told me. These are the outcomes. So when I was teaching some of our pastors how to flow in the word of knowledge, I told them that. Then one of my pastors came the day he was going to trust God for it. He stood and said, there is somebody here. So when he said, there is somebody here, nobody came out, he closed his eyes. He started feeling ashamed. So later, the person walked out. When he opened his eyes, he now gained power, encouragement. Don't ever feel discouraged. In fact, one happened recently. That was the first time that brother was ministering in these 70 days. That's the first time he was ministering. And he gave a word. The person refused to come. I, he was shaking. So when I went out, I said, the person is here. What that brother said is true. Come out. Do you know that we had four people? The guy was seated, discouraged. So I said, I had to do this to encourage you. So Michael, sometimes we call some things, they will not come. The heart of a man is stubborn. Don't, 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 that's why you don't use people to validate your calling. You use God to validate your calling. Is that okay? So that's my little addition to this practical. So when you go out, you say, I want to flow like apostle. Why is it that when Papa mentioned case, people will jump out? But me, when I mention it, they don't come. Don't worry. One day, monkey go go market, you know, go come back. As they are refusing, there will be, there will be fire on their bomb bomb. They will pop, they will just come out. Is that okay? So don't ever, help me tell your neighbor, don't ever feel that you are not accurate. And the principle to flow in the word of knowledge is that number one, pray up in your closet. And before you come, receive a kiss. Tell God, Lord, that is you telling God, I desire, if you say I have this gift, I desire to use it. Then he will tell you when you go there, say this. He may not tell you that there is somebody here. Because there is somebody here is what all of us learned from our fathers. God will not, you will just hear the kiss. So you just say it by faith. Is that okay? Are you getting me? Yes, Am I helping somebody? Yes, okay. And the second greatest secret to manifesting word of knowledge is be selfless. Pray for other people. If you, if you start praying for Reverend Tony now, the next day you see him before he preach, God will give you the topic. And when he comes and starts teaching, he says today, he may not give you topic, he may give you the scripture, he may give you something, then you will now know that, hey, if I say this thing, don't they work for my life? That is how to, you must be selfless. Make people your project in prayer. As you begin to pray for people, he will now tell you, 
Ah, Sister Ruth, yesterday I was praying, oh, I saw that you were crying. I don't know why you were crying. And then you will just tell Ruth, she'll say, hmm, it is where? Say, actually, I worked two o'clock yesterday. That is how to grow in it. It's simple. These things are not rocket science. Then as you give yourself to it, the Holy Spirit begins to intensify, intensify, intensify. So I will tell you what I saw, man. I saw a file. What I saw in the eyes of my spirit was a file that the Lord called up. And on it, I saw a medical doctor stranded. And he said, reverse that situation. And as you reverse it, you see, when I saw the file, I said, as he said, reverse it. As you reverse it, I will cause a change. Then I saw a tap. And then I saw dust. So the moment I saw dust, I know that, ah, this person has waited long. But thus says the Lord, he will no longer wait. For a door opens to him in this season, regardless of his age. And you see, the door that will open will be a door that will dumbfound all of you. Because God Almighty is about to give him the former and the latter rain in the same month. God is going to give him the former and the latter rain in the same month. This your brother and this your husband will make all of you smile again. You will smile again. It's a journey of mercy. It's a journey of intervention. It's a journey of mercy. It's a journey of intervention. It's a journey of mercy. It's a journey of intervention. And as for you, the sister, you see, God is going to set the solitary family. God Almighty is going to touch an aspect of this family through your life. Apostle Alfonso, can I share your testimony a little bit? You see that man there? Some time ago, I came to this city. I, didn't, I don't know. As at this time, we just greet. I don't even know his full name. Then I, I mentioned the name. I said, there is somebody here by this name. And then when he came out, I said, no, you can't come out. You are a pastor. Please go back. I can't speak to you. But as he was going to go, the Lord said to me, he's from a family of five, and there is one lady among them. And then I began to speak to him by the word of the Lord. And I, I began to describe certain things that I saw. They were meaningless. They didn't make any meaning. I just started speaking as the Holy Ghost was talking. Today, the rest is history. There is a change of garment. There is a change of status. It's exactly the same way I am feeling about this doctor. It's exactly the same way that God is going to take off. That file has been called already. It has been dusted. And now the Holy Ghost is going to manifest his grace. You will see. You will know that there is a God that sees in the heavens. All right? Every strategy of the enemy to, to frustrate this man is broken today. Amen. It's broken today. Amen. And for you, I see the Lord bringing intervention to you. adopted child even though she's of age but she, you, you were adopted her yes there is there is a situation on that lady but because of this outing today God is going to heal her completely amen because when I held your hand I saw a grown up lady and and that was why I asked you have you adopted a lady a grown up yeah and so God is saying that hey there's a situation around her life and he's, he's, he's looking at you so that your joy will be full. He's going to intervene. And there's a healing that she needs. The Holy Ghost is going to heal her. Amen. He's going to cure her of all manner of sicknesses. Amen. And he's going to empower her. He's going to empower her. Amen. He's going to empower her. Amen. I release strength to you and supernatural intervention. Amen. For you right now, your strength is your nail. Amen. And let power come into your nails. Strength and power. It comes in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I announce a new season over your husband. And you will see it in the days to come. Go and prosper. Nothing will stop it anymore. Nothing. Nothing will stop it. 
Nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop it. If I say something to you in this house tonight, you will not believe. But there is somebody here. Your mother is a palm sec. Your mom is a palm sec. And your dad is a politician. I don't know if your mom is a palm sec, palm sec in, in, in Benue State, but I see a woman that is a palm sec. I want to, my time is up, I want to go. But I would like to pray. Your dad is a politician. Your mom is a palm sec. The Holy Spirit is not telling me of where. But there is a tussle that I see. I also perceive in my heart you don't want anybody to know because you don't want to come on down due pressure. But there is a tussle that I see. If you want to come, you can come. I cut it off. But if you don't want to come, you can sit and I'll tell you what to do. But if you are the one, please, you can show forth. Tomorrow will be prophecy and miracles. The daughter of a palm sec is here. So if you don't want to, and there is a tussle that I see in the spirit. There is a tussle that I see. Remember I said it. Just put it. And there is a tussle. Mommy, I will see you tomorrow. I have a message for you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you, sir.